our fourth season of excavating in the yard. Every two years, staff from the Peabody Museum, along with the Department of Anthropology and our partners in Harvard University Native American Program, we come out and we excavate in the yard, looking for material evidence of early Harvard. As we see the yard now, it's a 19th century landscape, and we're looking back deeper into that past at the 18th and 17th century. Students excavate, and the artifacts that they recover then become part of the Peabody Museum's collection. All right, this is the bottom of a pipe, and we could tell how old it is by measuring the borehole. As we look in archaeology, we have the remnants of what they actually did. They're trash, basically, from everyday life. It's a medium-sized piece of 20th century porcelain, and it has this gold ribbon right here. Students have curated an exhibit that uses material objects, what we found in the archaeological record here at Harvard Yard, alongside information that they've gleaned from the documentary and visual record to pull together a different story about Harvard. And one of the themes that the students chose to draw from was rule breaking of religion. So students noted as they were excavating in the yard all of the pipe stems and wine bottles that they're coming across and they're looking at the uh, written record that says smoking and drinking is not allowed. So that's one clear disparity. And looking at the college laws of 1734, there's a note in the college laws that you're not allowed to wear powdered wigs, as was the fashion in most of Boston and Cambridge at the time. But students were prohibited from wearing powdered wigs. However, if we go to the excavations, what we found are wig curlers, which are the evidence of people were actually wearing wigs while they were prohibited from doing so. What did you find? Sandwich Glass Factory. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly. Or Boston Glass. This is hard physical labor. And as the students are digging, you'll see that they're stopping and pulling out material. They're going through screens and picking out artifacts. And in fact, what you find in the exhibition is only a small percentage of what we've recovered from the field. Last field season, there were over 10,000 objects. They're quite small, but 10,000 objects that we recovered that become part of the PBD Museum's collection. If you look at the exhibit, it's just a percentage of that.